Bullet point number two. Barnaby Joyce. No, it's, well, it's Julian Assange extradition thing, but... I would yeah. like to say... Oh, we're going to start with that? We're going to start right at the top of it. Oh, okay. Yeah. Bullet point number two. Julian Assange's extradition. Okay. Julian so, Assange did nothing wrong. No. Well, uh, yeah, that at this point, UK wants to extradite him to the United States where he's going to be tried under the Espionage Act, uh, which is an age, like, it's from World War One, where they were basically just like, you're not allowed to say anything bad about the military during American wartime, which at this point, we're always at war. <laughs> we're always just bombing some. We're just occupied. Right, so if we're technically occupying, he didn't do anything fucking wrong. So, but they're like, oh, but he, but he hacked. He's a hacker. He's a hacker. They, it, who gives a shit? He still revealed American war crimes. And then, the, like, yeah, the I'm on board with out. the hero folks. Like, Julian Assange should be considered a hero to the American people were aware of so much shit because of this person and we should be grateful and the American people should stand up and defend this person even though they're Australian. Yeah, I, but despite that horrifying that, reality that he is Australian, yeah. the horrifying reality that he's basically from a continent that is so far away from everything else. It is very expensive that to is get a, to. That is also something that I think, like, kind of makes him an even bigger hero, right, is that uh, he is from this country that is so far away from everything, and he was still able to, like, find corporate fraud and talk about how Scientology is super fucked up, re reveal the TPP, like, he's one of the f uh, first people to, to reveal the TPP, what the TPP was actually doing. Uh, reveal American war crimes, reveal Hillary Clinton's emails, where they were basically going to use anti-Semitism against Bernie Sanders. Uh, that was a thing the DNC wanted to do, and there's still people like, yeah, but lesser of two evils. <laughs> How about just DNC corruption in general, though? Fuck them. Yes, fuck the DNC. That is all. <laughs> but uh, in the notes, uh, there is a... Point. Yeah, the first bullet point. Subtopics. <laughs> Barnaby Joyce. Is that what, is that what yeah, you Yeah, Barnaby wanted? Joyce is the Nationals leader, right? Fuck him because he's Australian. Oh, I didn't know that was a real thing. Uh, I was joking earlier about him being Australian. <laughs> he's 100% Australian. Yeah. No, I mean, I was joking that that was a bad thing. Like, I have no beef with the Australian people. They seem like a fine people. I have friends living there happily now. Uh, a bunch of emails. Fuck him because he's Australian. Fuck you, Barnaby. No, Barnaby's good. Oh, I thought he was... I'm so kidding. Your notes suck, babe. <laughs> Barnaby Joyce is opposing Assange's extradition, meaning he does not want him to get extradited. Oh, just because he's States. Australian? Okay, now we're going to Because he's an Australian route. citizen. Edit this out. And... <laughs> nothing gets edited. Uh, but he's he doesn't... Barnaby Joyce doesn't want... Uh, Julian Assange to be extradited to the United States because one, he's an Australian citizen and it's important for like Australians to be proud of what this person did like for all the things that we just talked about uh, the other dude, this Sajid Javid guy British Home Secretary yes, Sajid requested Javid. Assange's extradition charges of computer hacking yeah so he's He's claiming that they do need to extradite him uh, to the United States because he's a computer hacker, and he hacked a computer, so that's why he deserves to be in prison under the Espionage Act for 175 years, which is so crazy. That's so ridiculous. But shouldn't there be some kind of... negative consequence that happened as a result of his actions yes the Besides, war criminals he revealed should go to prison 
that's it's the best answer. <laughs> that's like what should happen. <laughs> what should happen is like they should all be in prison. <laughs> Right, like Barclay, the people that he revealed were to have like uh, committing credit card fraud, they should be in prison, and they're not. All the people where two Routers reporters were shot and killed, and look, here here's the other thing, right, with the Espionage Act, is they're saying that he's he's revealed all these things, but the New York Times reprinted it, the Intercept re reprinted it, the Guardian reprinted it, the Independent, Dar Spiegel, Elp like the uh, uh, Parisian newspapers all reprinted all of this stuff. So if you're going to imprison this guy, then you would have to go after all of the people that like reprinted what he revealed. So yeah. What's the other one? The... No comment from Australian Shadow Attorney General. What yeah, does that think, even mean? I don't think he's like the... It's like an interim Attorney General is what I'm assuming. I don't know if we have Australian viewers that want to uh, let us know what a Shadow Attorney General means. It does sound kind of creepy, doesn't it? Just, yeah. Yeah. Like, like a, a regular, shadow government. Yeah. A shadow government is one that is not in the forefront, but it's definitely pulling the levers behind the scenes. Yeah. That doesn't sound good. No. Well. Like from from the gist of the Guardian article that I read, it sounded like he was like an interim attorney general, but I could be wrong. It could just be like a guy that's like, I control the attorney generals. I'm this, I'm the eye of Sauron of attorney generals. So, should I read the quote from Joyce? Yeah. So this good is, guy. Good guy? Yeah. Barnaby good guy. Joyce is a good guy. Yes. Barnaby Joyce. Good guy. Supposedly. Sovereignty is for anyone considered a citizen, not just for people you like. Ooh, that's a good quote. Is yeah. That a direct quote? Kind of. I have a paraphrase. It's a little bit of a paraphrase. Par no, it is paraphrase. It is or it's not, babe. I'm a journalist. It's paraphrased. Okay. <laughs> it's paraphrased. Uh, yeah, so, ba I mean, I, I agree with that, right? It's like, I think that's one of those things where people use that against Julian Assange a whole lot is, well, he's just an unlikable character. It's like, who cares? Like, I'm not trying to, I'm not trying to hang out with the dude. I just appreciate the work that he does, right? Like, I think we can all agree that Kanye West is, as a person, probably not awesome. <laughs> Kanye West is a musician. I don't know. Not bad. I feel like Kanye West is kind of a... I, I, don't, I don't have an answer for either of his questions. To be completely honest, I, I'm going to take the ambivalent road on all that. But regardless though, right? Like, you liking him or not does not change what he's actually revealed. And whether or not he actually did real journalism. You know? Like, yes. he's a real publisher, so whether you like him or not does not have a bearing to any of that so to me it's just one of those things like I agree with Barnaby Joyce on this one yeah. and uh, and I've said this before you know I did I did a big uh, video uh, about Assange and everything that kind of happened with him um, and it doesn't matter whether you like him or not right like it doesn't matter whether you think you can have a beer for him which I'm all which is what a weird like metric Elizabeth Warren is that what you're talking about no no no, that's an Elizabeth Warren thing. What? I could having have a, beer a beer with Elizabeth Warren. They all do it. I don't know. She's been talking about having beers with people a lot. Yeah, but they all do it. I Elizabeth know. Warren does it. And then, like, poor Kristen Gillibrand. I don't even know if anybody showed up to have. She was just like, have a beer or maybe a whiskey. Have something with me, please. She was, and it was, like, such a sad commercial. Like, I felt really bad. But it's so weird to me, like, that is the metric for whether or not we support somebody is like, can I get drunk with them? It's like, but why? <laughs> why do you want to, why do you want to vote for somebody who is determining whether you can or can't have health care and be like, you know who I want? Possibly someone that might be an alcoholic. Like, just on the borderline of... Yeah, do you think Tulsi drinks? I'm sure Tulsi casually drinks. Tulsi Gabbard uh, would uh, would not uh, call Julian Assange into trial. She would pardon him. 
she said that multiple times, and she said that on the Joe Rogan podcast, too. That's rad. I, uh, support the fuck. Uh, Tulsi Gabbard is great. Andrew Yang's pretty great. Bernie Sanders is pretty great. Bernie Sanders kind of quiet on this situation, though. Mm. I'm, I'm, I'm slightly disappointed about it. If, if, if there has been any sort of revelation that he has made a statement about Julian Assange or Edward Snowden, uh, please do correct me in the comments, but... Comment below. Yeah. Or above, or wherever the wherever fuck this the ends up in the comments. Are. Is. Uh, but yeah, I... I uh, I'm, I'm slightly disappointed at the old burn dog. Um, what's the next one? On the oh, I can't wait list? to read this one. What's Australian this one? government bullet point. No, 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 no. Subtopic five. Oh, it's five. Australian government cannot interfere with UK's legal process, but America can! Question mark, exclamation point. No due process, arrow. Auto guilt. This is a real revelation. <laughs> this is just raw Chris <laughs> Mohan. This is what it's like in his mind. Oh, God. That's exactly what it's like in my mind. <laughs> There's exclamation points. Auto guilt. It's almost like he's Jewish or Catholic. Just auto guilt switch. It's on all the time. I don't know what Julian Assange subscribes to, but I do know that the uh, that the UK still considers the Queen, who's like connected to the Church somehow. So I'm sure they have some oh, weird no, no, sense no, no. of guilt. Hold right? on, I think oh, I know you this. Know, you know this one. This I'm is pretty up on sure your house. that the Queen Crown season five is the head of the Church of England. She's the fucking head. running it. Yeah, she's, she's running the head it of the Church of England. Uh, so that's like a really big deal, and they're uh, kind of inextricably intertwined. Oh, she's running it. She's like yeah. God's general manager for England. Yes. <laughs> Whatever version of, of Christian God, I, I can't remember. Well, I guess no. One. I guess you'd be like a district manager. Right? Like, she's God's district manager let for me, that region. Let me look it up. No. Maybe. Yeah. Yeah, district, she's, like a, she's like a district, district manager. District of Britain. But to that point, Australia was basically like... Let me pull that up. UK can't... Um, UK can't, like, get involved in Australians of, uh, Australian affairs. And he is an Australian citizen, so Australia should get to decide what to do with him. But, you know, like... Or, or I guess what UK was really saying is, well, Australia shouldn't be making a comment on this because this is about the United Kingdom. He was in the UK Ecuadorian embassy, yada, yada, yada. This is all about uh, UK and you guys can't interfere or meddle in um, in our affairs, essentially, is what uh, Sajid Javid is saying in regards to Barnaby Joyce saying, like, you can't extradite him because he's an Australian citizen. But... They're taking their marching orders from America. Like, America is one of the countries that he has revealed a bunch of information about most recently, right? Like, most you, you had the DNC leaks, uh, and then he was trying, he was trying to uh, leak a bunch of Donald Trump's tax information, uh, but his kid wouldn't, his kid would just wouldn't give it to him. Like, he was trying to coax Donald Trump Jr. There's, like, reports where he was trying to coax Donald Trump Jr. to be like, hey, why don't you just give me your dad's tax returns? Like, it's not a big deal. And, like, it, it, it just didn't work, right? Like, it just didn't happen. But it's also the biggest one that he revealed was when those Reuters journalists uh, were murdered in Afghanistan. And you had, like, that video is kind of disturbing to watch. Um, I don't know if you've watched what that video? video or not. Of oh, like, okay. of the helicopter. Where they're firing on Afghani citizens. And they killed two routers reporters. No. And like the Marine, like the, the soldiers are like laughing in that video. Like it's crazy. It's super, super crazy. Um, but yeah, so you, so that was like, but all of that stuff is like revealing a bunch of American crimes, right? And that's what Chelsea Manning is in prison for right now because they're trying to get her to say 
that um, he illegally hacked into the DOJ. Which is like, DOJ, change your passwords. <laughs> you can't just, you can't be the Department of Justice and your password be like PA55 capital W O R D exclamation point. Like, that's not gonna work out. Uh, but that's what they're trying to get him on. That's why they keep claiming that he's a hacker. Uh, and, and then, that, and again, that's why, like, the mainstream media is, is freaking out about it. But America meddled... America is dictating what UK gets to do. America is calling for the extradition. And that's why UK is like, yeah, I guess we'll extradite him and send him to Admax, which is, you know, where, where we keep, like domestic terrorists and shit like that. <laughs> like, that's the prison that they want to send Julian Assange to. Well, UK is our ally, like, possibly our closest ally. Australia, also pretty close ally, you know? Yeah. All of, all of Britain and their former colonies, real tight. Except oh, uh, Protestant. India. They're Protestant. Oh, no, they're Protestant. Mm -hmm. What's the guilt situation for Protestants? I feel like we don't have as much guilt. We do, like, a group... Sort of like every still using guilty. me for it. I was raised right. Protestant. Uh, we do like a group confession where all together we're like, We're sorry, we know somewhere along the lines we fucked up, please forgive us. Instead of like going into the booth, and that's like a big difference between Protestants and Catholics. We don't personally meet with the priests and like discuss and go over the things that we went wrong, like a weird porno, you know. It's, it's always got to be sexual. I feel like most of the time. When I, never mind. I'm <laughs> not going to get into the Catholic it. Church. I feel like at this point it it does become it does become kind of like mildly porn. Sure, it's all about them. It has nothing to do with me. <laughs> oh, uh, moving yeah, well, on. Sure. What was the other bullet point? On that, that's the next page. No, there's the next there's one. There's another one. For Number the, six. Yeah. Legal gray area. Precedent for all whistle whistleblowers except ones approved by the deep state. Exclamation point. Wow. He's really passionate in his own notes to himself. <laughs> oh, God. I feel like it would be Is that judged. it? Are you going to comment? Or yes, do we just move on? I'm going to comment on it. Uh, I do think that this is in a major legal gray area, which is why we're having the discussion that we're having, right? Like, that's... Um, we are we are in a pretty major legal gray area. We don't know what to do. You have Australia saying he's a citizen and people should support him, and uh, the UK doesn't have, shouldn't have the authority to extradite him. You have UK saying that Australia should meddle in their affairs. You have America saying that, well, he revealed war crimes about us. He he, he revealed uh, information about you know one of our political parties. Um, and we have this discussion about whistleblowers and whether they're heroes or not. You know, both, both, both of us, I think, agree that he's he is in, a hero. He is somebody that is doing the right thing. Uh, but we just had the guy, quote unquote guy, right, uh, that revealed the Ukraine stuff. And they're like super hype on it. Who's they? The, the establishment, yeah, the establishment is like super hype on this whistleblower. They're like, we gotta listen to this whistleblower. This guy blew the whistle on Trump. You know, he's got all this information about Trump, and it's like, wait a minute. Now you guys are gonna listen to whistleblowers. Now you guys think whistleblowers are pretty cool, but not whenever they reveal that the DNC is a bunch of shitbags. <laughs> like. No, at that point, it's like, you gotta imprison the shit out of this guy. But the one guy that's like, hey, look at what Donald Trump is saying to Ukraine. Also, ignore all this shit about Joe Biden also saying things to Ukraine. Is <laughs> like, that's the guy we're gonna listen to? And I think there was like an article that was basically like, he's part of the FBI or the CIA or something like that. Uh, and like, that's... Like, he's still within the organization. Like, he's not an organ... He's not like John Kiriakou, who was a former CIA... Um, I think it was an analyst. Um, but... And then he, like, blew the whistle on them and ended up going to prison. But this guy's, like, a approved deep state whistleblower 
that's like, yeah, this is the narrative that we want the American people to see about this. But whenever, like, the true narrative comes out, uh, we're like, oh, but that guy's a bad guy. Look at him. You can't even have a beer with him. Huh? How is he going to drink beer with all of all of that beard hair around him? Huh? He's got such a big, bushy beard. He can't drink a mug of beer. That's not a thing that he can do. You know? That's what it is. That's where we're at. It's just I unfair. I can't drink beer. I know. True fact. And it's not because of gluten. Because I can eat bread. I think it's a sugar thing for you. Yeah, we just think it's Which, a sugar thing. Look, if you're going to run for president in I the future, fucking love beer, so this was a heartbreaking thing to accept. And I refused to accept it for a long time, so I was just sick for a while. And if you run for president, what are you going to do? You know, you can't put up Whiskey. little cute Facebook we ads. God, I hope Facebook isn't a thing by the time I have my shit together enough to run for president. <laughs> Don't worry. Here's a weird thing. Fucking, don't worry, you don't need to have your shit together to run for president. Look yeah, at what we look got at, now. Look at the w, fucking mess in the White House now. You got Trump. You got tr uh, Bush 2. You got Clinton. You got Bush 1. You got dementia patient Ronald Reagan. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like... <laughs> dementia patient Joe Biden. Dementia patient Joe Biden. <laughs> Who, I think we can all agree, uh, his brain has figured out how to time travel to 1953, uh, and is just hanging out there, and then is relaying information to his body, and then his, and then his mount just spews out a bunch of weird time-displaced things. Time-displaced things. Just like, court pop, record players, vitrolas, black people. Just like, what is happening? What? Then he, like, he just made a weird rant about gay bathhouses and stuff. See, Joe, I feel like with Joe Biden, you don't need a whistleblower. <laughs> Joe Biden is his own whistleblower. <laughs> you know? He's taking care of it. He's taking care of it himself. Julian Assange can take a break when it comes to Joe Biden. <laughs> That's what he can do. All right, should we move on to the last topic of, of, uh, of the video? Oh, this is the last? There's a lot of notes on this one. There is a lot of notes oh, on this one. Oh, God. Okay. What is, you gotta, it's fine. You're making a big deal out of it for no reason. No, it's, it's just a, a lot of stuff about some people. Hey, thanks for watching this video. Uh, this is part of a little series I do called Road Reflections, where I talk to you while I'm on tour uh, about the current socio-political environment, current news stories, uh, debates, that sort of stuff that I don't get to talk about on my podcast, Taboo Table Talk or Forkful of Noodles. It's a little bit looser. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this clip. If you guys enjoyed it, uh, you can find the full episodes on my Facebook page. Uh, you can go like Krish Mohan, uh, social vigilante and comedian. And uh, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button. Uh, share this out if you enjoyed it. Um, and another way to help uh, see more regular content is by becoming a patron over at patreon.com slash Thanks again, guys, and we'll see you on the road.